If you are aware about distributed systems, you might have heard a lot about consistency. But do you know there are two types of consistency that we have in a microservice based distributed systems? No. Oh! Hi, welcome to Design Strong. In this video today, we will learn about two types of consistency that we have. So in distributed systems, we have eventual consistency and strong consistency. Let's try to understand both of these with the help of an example. Let's consider uh, an app, something like Google Photos that you have and the option that you have selected on your Google Photos app for syncing it on Google Cloud or Google Drive is that photos will only be sent when you are on a Wi-Fi network. So let's say if you were clicking some photos since morning and you were not on a Wi-Fi network and you come on the Wi-Fi network at 2 p.m. At this point of time, all the photos get synced on your cloud account. So right now, your device with all the photos is in sync with photos which are available on the cloud. So at this point of time, your system is in strong consistency between your device and cloud. Let's consider it with one example. There are two types of syncing that you can have. One, that you can sync it on both mobile data and Wi-Fi. Two, Sync the photos only when it is on Wi-Fi. Now let's say you're clicking on photos at 2 p.m. you were on Wi-Fi. You sync all the photos. After 2 p.m. you click let's say 10 more photos, but you were not on a Wi-Fi. At this point of time, your device and cloud is not in sync. We call it eventual syncing. Why? Because let's say if you were ought to come on the Wi-Fi network, let's say at 9 p.m. the same way, then the photos again will get synced. So with this way, we call it eventual syncing. But let's say if the same was set to sync all the photos whenever there is mobile data or Wi-Fi, in that case, as in when you are clicking the photos, you are on mobile data or Wi-Fi, the photos start syncing to the Google Cloud. So this is strong consistency. I hope uh, strong consistency and eventual consistency is clear to you with this example. Now let's try to interpret the same example within a distributed environment. Let's assume that you are working in a reader writer database setup. Let's say there is a reader database and there is a writer database. Now what happens is if there is an insert which is coming in, it is only coming into writer. Now at this point of time reader and writer may or may not be in sync. So if there is a read that comes, it comes to the reader now. There are two possibilities here. If the data and between reader and writer is synced, in that case, the read will be a strong consistency read. Whereas if, let's say, if, if like when the read comes, the consistency of the write that has happened is not there, in that case, we call it eventual consistency. There are pros and cons of both eventual consistency and strong consistency. And it's like we need both based on the kind of system that we're working on. For example, if I'm working on a financial app, maybe I would need strong consistency when it comes to, let's say, adding money or subtracting money. Whereas, let's say, if I am doing an operation like this, let's say, get balance, I might choose, like, uh, eventual consistency because, let's say, if I display the balance as 100 and at that point of time, the balance is 105, eventually it will become 105. All you need to do is, let's say, refresh or something and then the balance also becomes fine. Whereas, for adding and subtracting, we definitely need eventual consistency because let's say if the balance red was 100 and I'm adding 5, then it becomes 105. Whereas if it was at 95, whereas the actual balance was 100, then there becomes a problem. So what to choose between strong consistency and eventual consistency totally depends on the kind of requirement that you are trying to achieve or that you are trying to solve using your distributed system. A few minutes later. Regarding the pros and cons, so understand it this way. With eventual consistency, latency will be low. Why latency will be low? Because we will only rely on the single system. Let's say the reader. There is a read which comes and gets fulfilled. Consistency will be low. Why consistency will be low? Because there can be a time when the system is not in complete sync. Similarly, in case of a complete consistent environment, what will happen is the latency might be a little high because let's say whenever you are trying to do a read it will take a long get the objects in sync between the between the environments and then provide you back with the result so 
latency can be a bit high but consistency definitely will also be high so it's like a trade off whether you want low latency or high latency and what is the sort of uh, in requirement that you have i hope with this simple example you clear with the concept of strong consistency and eventual